Get in here, Lance, for episode 53 of The Flummery, The Flim Flam Flummist. Uh, we're here with my friend, my longtime friend, and uh, Ben TG is his name. Yes. Hello. And, hello. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Hi Lance. <laughs> and, of course, we're here with Lance and Adam, War Machine and the Nemesis. Mm -hmm. I have been his nemesis today because he, he, he woke up late. Let's just, let's be honest. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. And then <laughs> I'm going to do something real quick since I was just talking about it. All right, everybody. So here's the here's the notes. Like and follow us on The Flummery on Facebook, which if you're watching this now, you've seen it. And you probably already do. Uh, for the best chance of catching notifications, um, that's what you do. Also, we are on iTunes and Podbean. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Instagram as The Flummery Podcast and on Twitter as at The Flummery. That's it. Let's get that out of the way. I like that. I want to do that every week, right? Is that what we decided? Yeah. Okay. You need to promote. You nailed but, that, by the way. <laughs> I had it written know. down. Okay. That's why. <laughs> Pretty soon he'll he'll be spotting it out. Left uh, or right. Oh, what what is this uh, week sponsored by? What chip brand? Oh, um, we're sponsored this week by Wrap Snacks. <laughs> Go on, get you some. You know what I mean? I I would freestyle, but uh, oh, you know what? I should do this too. This is your parental advisory ex explicit lyrics warning. If you are under 18, turn this motherfucking thing off. Ben, you know what that means, right? Oh, boy. You can fucking swear. Sweet. <laughs> That's why I get out of the house, so I can s make a few swears. Have you ever seen rap snacks? No. Before? What is this? <laughs> it's just regular snacks, but it's got... I guess, you know, I'm not going to lie. You don't see a lot of black guys in the front of... Uh, is potato it potato chips? chips? Yes. Yeah. Read the bot. Read it. Read what it says. About awesome. What they what, what the flavor they are. Barbecuing with my honey. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. That's pretty. So clever. it's like barbecue and honey, right? Yeah. But how do you say it? So it'd be. I love the way they have it spelled because it's like, barbecuing. Barbecuing with my honey. That is. Uh, I mean. It's queuing. This is Romeo Miller. So this must be the owner of the company. I don't know person? who that is. Okay. I love that they just leave it at snacks, not wrap chips. Yeah. yeah. Or crisps or just it's very gotta be general the, snacks. It's got to be like the middle. They probably line, taste right? like barbecue lays if if, just, they're, if they're lucky, you know? Wrap snacks, boo. Just For your snacks. mouth. <laughs> so snacking. these chips in your mouth. Fucking Rap. love it. You need some, you need some snacking when you're wrapping. Yeah. yeah. So it makes sense. I think if you get too much salt, though, you probably get like Salt a, helps your throat, though, right? When you're singing? I don't know. I mean, uh, it? You know, I, I mean, don't think so. When you're singing or you're rapping. I he would know. know. He's a singer. You can sing? We should. I mean, you know. Yes, the answer is yes. <laughs> Don't make me sing. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, well, look, look, okay. I don't sing very often So, anymore. So Ben runs and you own it, right? With your well, wife. it's a nonprofit, so okay. we don't really. We run it. We That's founded awesome. it, my wife and I, and we run the theater, but it's, yeah, we don't own it. Really, because it's you just have the rights to like run it. The actually the board of directors. This is kind of weird how nonprofits work. <laughs> but now that it's going, if we do if we screw up, they could fire us from our from the company that we started. Wow, that's yeah. Not so cool. it's kind of weird. How long have you been doing it now? This is sixth sixth year. We're just finishing up our that's sixth awesome. year. Yeah, it's awesome. So it's cool. I keep. I want to make sure it's Deleco Arts. Delico. Delico. Why do yeah. I keep doing that? I don't know. Remember you're... Jack Casey? <laughs> I remember. I remember really well, actually. Maybe you're hungry. You might need some wrap <laughs> snacks. <laughs> wrap it up. All right. That's a wrap, guys. Um, <laughs> so you've been running that theater, and you're also a teacher. Yeah. I, I teach won't... theater at New Prague High School. Okay. Yep. yep. <laughs> I didn't know if you wanted to. I mean, to there's, I teach one class <laughs> one semester, so. That's but awesome. then I direct all the shows that they do there too. Good. Yeah, I'm there quite a bit. I, to me, it's it's funny thinking about that because I mean, I went there. <laughs> I know, me know? too. And yeah, we went there together, same year. And you think it would be like a Jeffrey? We hung out. You think it'd be like a Jeffrey Dahmer case where they just bulldoze it down after you were there, right? Uh <laughs> like his apartment place. <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer, or right? I no. mean, like if you were there. I don't. I no? mean, yeah, you'd think, especially with all the gas. Yeah, Zingerbritson had terrible gas. <laughs> You guys Still probably did. Does. You guys graduate with each other? Yes. Oh, yep. he didn't graduate. You graduated. Yeah. Right. He was in the this stands, is... like clapping. I think. <laughs> a 
<laughs> plotting. And they, they'd be like, honorable mention for almost no. making it Adam Ingebretson. It was uh, <laughs> me and Ted Shrek didn't graduate. If you're out there, Ted, I, I still love you. <laughs> you have to say it. Uh, I should. Why did I say name? I don't. You know, the funny thing is, I don't usually say names and stuff. And well, there it is. I'm doing it today. Yep. I mean, he's somebody we knew, so it's not a big deal. Everybody, he graduated. I think he, you don't even know if he's alive. To be be honest, <laughs> you know what? I he I, could I, be dead. He's <laughs> saying he's one of those cats that uh, he's barely just... made it through life, even in high school. No, you saying? know what? He went into the army and everything after high school, which was concerning to me. I but was he like a private pile? No, he was running. A, he was driving tanks. Wow. And then he ended up hurt. He got hurt in a, I don't know if it was a crash or something happened in the tank and broke his foot. And then he had to, I guess, you know. He got hurt in, ser- like, in <laughs> service, like out there doing stuff. Was he in the shit, as they would say? <laughs> I don't know. I think that it was like a training. Oh. But people die. I mean, in the military, people die in training and stuff. So it's not like it's not dangerous. But true. Definitely. Uh, I mean, that was really interesting when I talked to him, but. We had a history, and he didn't. I could tell he did not want to talk to me. Yeah. Like a his, like a, you guys had, you guys were like broken lovers, or what? No, he kind of. I don't know. I, I don't know. Ex- I don't, expound. No, it's a real weird story where he got he got me and my friend in trouble one night because we all we all went out to meet each other on our bikes, right? Were you friends with this guy? Yeah, yeah, okay. absolutely. And then he he must have been mad at me about something because he didn't put out. At, no, I don't know what it was, and maybe it's just because I was a kid and I didn't really realize. I don't know, whatever. Maybe I was a dick. I don't know. But he called my folks when we were supposed to be meeting, and we were meeting at, like, this intersection, like, a mile from basically each of our houses. And he called my folks. It's, like, 2 in the morning. <laughs> He's like, we have your kids. He did that, huh? Yeah, so we, me and my buddy Aaron, bike up the hill, this gigantic fucking hill, and down part of a gravel road, which I lived on a gravel road for a few years. And we get I get to the top of the hill over my house and all the fucking lights are on. I'm like, oh fuck. I'm like, Aaron, let's try and sneak in the back. <laughs> like it's already the cat's out of the bag. But <coughs> so I go on the back patio door and my dad is just like Fuck. He's like, okay, everything's fine. Where the fuck were you? <laughs> you know? Yeah. And then we told him what was going on and he knew he's like, Well, your fucking friend being an asshole i'm like yep that must be it you know mm. so that's what happened that was pretty much the last time we spoke until i saw him and he told me about the army and everything which i was impressed with but i was just like okay so what do you go i'm driving tanks now you're still a douche no he <sighs> he was fine he's normal talking normal I, I hope he doesn't listen to this because you just called him a douche and all sorts of i stuff. don't mind he's fine he's nice he's a nice guy <laughs> So you lived outside of town. Did you he, live in town? He's not that I weird. Did. He had okay. a normal life after. Everybody does fucked up stuff in high school. True. So some people don't make it out alive, though. <laughs> okay. I have a friend that didn't. Ooh. Out of high school? Well, a few years after. Are you still drunk? No. I'm saying he was schizophrenic. He didn't make it out oh, alive. Oh, so I shouldn't laugh about that. Okay, I gotcha. <laughs> God rest your soul, Dan. Where do we go? Why do we do this? Let's talk about um, let's, be, let's let's talk about the theater. I wasn't even really getting this, sentimental or anything, so No, I know, whatever. I know. But it's God rest his soul. No, it's a devil not, sweet no, weekend. Driving tanks. <laughs> Did you do that down the highway or what? It's just like hanging out the top like um like a bad guy in Indiana Jones and in Last Crusade. Mm-hmm. That is, yes. Do you remember? <laughs> so I watched that movie. It actually, it holds up fairly well, except there's this one tank crash scene. Yeah. The tank goes off the cliff, and one of the bad guys, it's clearly like a doll, and they like tied him. They like laid him on the tank, you know? Yeah. And they like tied his, where his hands would be. <clears throat> and then this tank is going down the hill, and the guy is like flopping so crazily, like there's no way if it was just his hands, he'd be able to hold on. Right. So it's just like, I'm like, your they arms would break. <laughs> right. That's they didn't have the CGI he died. back then. No. So do you have any <laughs> uh, plays or projects that you're working on right now? Or is yeah, there anything that... Um... Yep, yep. Uh, we've got uh, something opening on May 4th at Delico. It's called She Loves Me. It's a musical. How many people do you um, 
how many people you get involved in this typically like like this one how many how many are involved uh we've got a cast of i think 11 oh okay i want to say and what's like the biggest you've had uh probably like 13 we can't do too much because the space is so small if we have too many more than that it's right doesn't work um so i just want to i'll throw something in here going it is it's unique and it is small but it's like it's kind of one of its uh charms i would say i yeah i prefer i sat in the front row with live theater i don't know how much live theater you guys watch but uh um, probably not that much. I know most people, it's not a big deal, but, um, <laughs> for me, like I prefer the small, yeah, it's small more, it's spaces. intimate. Yeah. The intimate stuff. I mean, that's, I don't know. It's just more interesting. It's, it differentiates it more from, I mean, you sitting really on get your couch see, watching Netflix or something. Yeah. You no. really get to see what's going on. It's kind of cool. Yeah. And you know, I've, I've done, I was in a couple of plays and they were both in high school, you know? And so it's kind of funny the things you notice you can kind of notice stuff going on behind the scenes, but obviously, you know, you're working with professionals and they, they do a really good job of masking it, you know, just like yeah. any other play, right? <laughs> you have to hide stuff in oh, the background. Sure. And it's kind of funny when you can pick something out, like, Oh, that's cool. You know, it yeah. doesn't ruin it at all. It makes it like that much better. Yeah. That's, that's kind you know? of the, the cool thing about seeing stuff live. Yeah. You get to yeah. notice those and things. Is it like, like, do you have people that come from around or is it mostly local talent? It's all talent from the cities. Okay. Yeah. So, so you have get, people coming around from the around the cities. Uh, like actors and stuff. Yeah. They all live in the cities. I okay. mean, we, we rarely do we use somebody outside of the cities. Okay. There's just so many artists up there, theater artists yeah. up there. It is a great we town. Don't, we don't theater. ever have to look anywhere else. Right. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And do you ever ex- like expand out yourself in other theaters and do some, do stuff? I used to. Um. Right. But it's I I'm so busy with Delico that um right I it's it's hard to find time in the summertime we're dark right now so, um we don't have any shows in the summer so I've been trying to audition a little bit more and get okay. out there because it's it'd be nice to work at some some other spaces and work with some other people again like I used to before Delico but yeah it's it's it takes up so, so you're much like time. pretty much like the program director and all the, all that above right right, right. Okay. so my wife and i uh handle all the programming and all that jazz all mm-hmm. the administrative stuff and then every once in a while we'll be in the shows too and yeah that's pretty great. much whatever needs to be done yep you like play a farm hand once in a while yeah i will I, i'm not against playing a farm that's hand. mostly okay. just in the bedroom <laughs> <laughs> yes it's yeah. not the pitchfork <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I had to go there. I just, that's what I do. Terrible. You're terrible. I'm a terrible, I'm a garbage person. Yeah. Want another (laughs) Long Island iced tea garbage person? (laughs) So, and that's really interesting. How do you feel? Okay. We're not going to grill you the whole time. Like, we'll we'll just be real. That's part of it. What do you think? um, I love it. How does it feel being part of that? Like, you're now a, a real cog, like, in that industry you know what i mean like people they respect what you're doing they respect your work you've gotten great reviews um uh they like the theater it's i honestly i'm proud to say you know i went to school in that town i'm proud Mm -hmm. to have a theater in my hometown so and honestly i I might have told you that already but the point is it's like how does that is that how does that feel you know like do you do you think about it at all or are you just kind of like or does it help you get through some of the just, oh, my God, I have so much to do or, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's always nice to, you know, when you when when we're spending that much time and effort on a project, it's cool when it goes the way you want it to go. So, <laughs> <laughs> so far, so good. Um, yeah. You know, one of the reasons we started it in New Prague as opposed to up in the cities is there's so much going on up there that we, we <laughs> wanted to try and decentralize a little bit of that that theater community because when you get outside of the twin cities, there's not much in the suburbs mm-hmm. of, you know, quality professional theater. So, um, and I knew new Prague had a, you know, they're, they're kind of bonkers for their theater down there. It is. Yeah. I and mean, two even community the high school theaters, theaters just, yeah. Um, in a town of 7,000 people is weird. So I, I knew that weird. it would be supported uh, or at least I thought it would be. And then, yeah, it's, it's going so far. So, so good. You know, Awesome. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> and what are the? I mean, I'm sure you don't mind saying. What are the community theaters like? What do they focus on? 
Um, Mostly like <laughs> table plays or like just... like uh, well, they're t- they're two different um, organizations. One focuses on uh, it's called Generations Theater. They kind of do it's old uh, people, right? N- no, they're <laughs> actually their focus is young. Uh, young people and kids and stuff. I could have gone the other way, but I went the right, old right. way. <laughs> um, so they always do like a, a big mu- like a musical that kids would enjoy, and then they have lots of kids in the shows, and and they do uh, they have a really nice um, educational aspect to it. They have classes and stuff. And the other one is called Curtain Call, and that one serves New Prague, Montgomery, um, you know, more of uh, the the neighboring communities as yeah. well. And they do more like um, the comedy, like the the funny comedies mm-hmm. that you would see at a community theater. Less yeah. musicals, more. They do musicals once in a while, but most of the time it's. And I think they produce a little bit more often than Generations. But anyway, they kind of yeah. flip flop. So one year, um, <clears throat> they have an arrangement where one year Generations will be at the high school theater, and the other one will be at Montgomery. And yeah, I was going to say, they, they switch sort of, venues, Yeah, right? they switch back and forth. So they sort of share the resources. They're like, oh, we're going to Montgomery. It's yours. Let's do that. Did you have a play called Urine here. Tone? <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's the one I saw. I'm, I'm, I still kick myself. You saw uh, Urine Town? I that's did, the one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was and such a fun show. The other thing, it's funny, like you probably wouldn't remember that that's the one I saw because I was only there once, and you've got a bunch of people that you know coming to these shows, Well, right? I, I knew you'd been and there. You, I just yeah, couldn't remember yeah, which show it was, yeah. But it's like, it's funny like you must see a bunch of people that you know, right? That, uh, from back in the day. Well, not as m- well every once in a while, yeah. Every mm-hmm. once in a while. But I suppose there is I mean it is there's a lot going on there. I'm sure you get people from Prior Lake, you probably get people from the cities, you get people from south and east yeah. too. We have probably I think so, 25% of our audience is not from New Prague, which is kind of weird to think that that many people are coming to New Prague. Yeah. There's really I mean I mean, we honestly, need, if we you get to New Prague, more... you're on the edge as it is, right? <laughs> That's literally like, the edge. I mean, <laughs> Main Street is the is the bo- southern border of what is considered the metro area. You know, is it really? Yeah, okay. specifically because of the county. Because right? of the county, yeah. yeah. Scott yeah. Scott ends county. at um, Main Street, so we're in Lesueur County. Across the street is Scott County. Yeah, it's, that's right. it's weird. And how do you go about like um, your marketing and stuff? Like, do you like? I mean, is it a lot of word of mouth, or do you put yeah. you, Okay. Well, especially at the beginning, because we didn't have any money for right. advertising or anything. So we just relied strictly on word of mouth or anything that was free, Facebook. A lot of Facebook like, or, people that are acting in it like usually do a pretty good job of like, hey, come and, you know. Right, they'll throw the word out. Whether on social media or whatnot. And yep. You have a Facebook page, right? Yep. Okay. Just the last. I'm at the website right now. Just throw this in yeah, I was just on the website. It's Delico cool. Art. Uh, Jesus Christ. D- you said Delico. I said Delico. I keep saying Delico. You want to say it's because you played Coleco Vision when you were a kid. <laughs> Delico. It is. Buddy. Delico. <laughs> it's not. This was right. one of the things that it's we like did Oregon wrong. Oregon or Oregon. It's not an easy word it's to fine. pronounce. It's cool. I like it. It's a good name. You can just say Dale. I'm just stupid. Cole. I'm just a stu- stupid Just idiot. say DA. Just yeah. do that. Easy. Easy peasy. Did you design the site? Yes. Okay. Well, I mean, it's I'm using. A, Delico, did you use like right. Squarespace or what did it's, you do? Yeah, it's one. It's a Squarespace com? competitor called Tilda. Oh, okay. Yep. Tilda, like the thing. T i l d a. We had a site, but we kind of let it go. Like Tilda Radner. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It just wasn't. I don't know. We weren't that high up yet. We didn't get anything through there, and we don't have any like. Merch it doesn't really. Yeah. If we had merch and stuff, we'll get back to it. But eventually, honestly, we went on Podbean, and like everything else is just. Facebook and Podbean and pretty much it. Yeah. If you I mean, don't need do it, iTunes. it's we didn't too really, much work to. Yeah, yeah it's it's about. just an extra. It was an extra thing for us to worry about when we're already trying to keep up on our Facebook and then our Podbean. Yeah, and once and, a year I do like <clears throat> a payment to Podbean, and it's not very much, and that keeps us. They they distribute to iTunes. Goes through. They distribute to iTunes, mm-hmm. and you know we'll probably go out to eventually. We'll be we'll do like Stitcher, and I don't know if you need to. Do that many. I think once Stitcher. you have iTunes, I'm not aware of Stitcher. What is that? It's another podcast uh, platform. Yep, like Podbean. Yeah, hmm. like, exactly like Podbean. I mean, just different. It's just what you like, you know. Oh, okay. There's Stitcher, iTunes, uh, Podbean. Oh, and there's a couple others. But... So many venues. Yeah, 
Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Are you, uh, it's a lot to keep track of. It it's, is. And especially then, for me. For us having that website, it just wasn't. At this point, I can't wait for my kids to go to college because I'll actually have some time to do some of this <laughs> stuff. So we'll just have to do this for another nine, ten years. Yeah. And I should have some free time or to help get, out. You can just re- get rid of your kids. I tried. I mean, Once you that, really got to fuck up to have them taken. Taken. I mean, believe me. Believe me. Especially I'm just saying, with Minnesota drive like 500 mi- Just drive like 500 miles and like put them on the side of the road They somewhere. come back. It's like they're like dogs. They just <laughs> they'll show up one day like, we're real hungry. What happened? I'm like, oh, well, I've been looking all over for you. And, and then, then you're like, then here's you're some like, wrap snacks. Y- y- yeah. <laughs> I can't believe those things. What are these exist. called? What did wrap snacks? What wrap snacks? What say what again? Where did you get the Even wrap snacks? Where somebody they gave them, them to me last night. One of my coworkers. It's gave great. Them last night. What? Well, I want to know where they. Not this are guy. Sold. This guy didn't give them to you. Okay, Rome, Romeo Miller. Let's look him up. I'm looking him up. So he's either a rapper or the proprietor of rap snacks. I'm sure he's a he's a person. He's a rap personality. Okay. He is. What Here's what it right says now. on the back. My pops taught me to keep your head on straight and do what you love. Romeo. This guy. He's a real figure. American rapper. Well, cool. So they, they used him to endorse. He's the, on a bag of chips. chips. Pretty soon you could be on a bag of chips. He's man. literally. I mean, I wouldn't. I the would bag of chips. I would do it. He's all that and he's the bag of what chips. What do they call it? Theater chips? Theater snacks. Theater snacks. snacks. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Not thes- thespian snacks. I mean, I think act snacks would be. A, <laughs> there you go. Be Boom. Better. Fucking I think you nailed, just nailed it. it. Yep. Not. It'd just be my face. You'd have to go <laughs> do a little more like a Doritos kind of. Yeah, licorice. You'd be like lib nibs. You know. <laughs> um, Romeo Miller is a rapper and has apparently lent his uh, likeness to support a snacking company. So we just want to wrap um, that up. So you say you're you're slow in the summertime. <laughs> yeah, we don't. So it's just because people are out about doing stuff. Yeah, competing with the lake is impossible. Right. You know. Okay. And then you're like kind of wrapping up on one coming up here. Or? Yeah. So this is the one we're doing. We're opening on May fourth. Is the last one in this season. Uh, closes May twentieth, and then we're done until we open again in September. Obviously, you have to get in there before that to get prepared, though, too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be in there building sets and stuff in August. Okay. Uh, we're taking one show up to have, uh, you know, um, well, uh, there's a theater in Alexandria, Minnesota called Theater Lahamadu. Uh-huh. So we're taking one of our shows from this season up there oh, yeah. during the summer. Oh, wow. um, they do a thing where they bring in. Is that like a weekend deal or a week it's deal? It's a one week thing. Okay. Yeah. It's really fun because we go up there. They have cabins. So they just house us in the cabins. Oh, nice. It's like a little. I was going to ask you about room and board. So it's like a treat for the tourists community yeah right? it's they yep well because alexandria talent. is like you know it's probably i don't know how what the population is it's probably fifteen thousand people during the summer and i'm mm-hmm. assuming in the winter time it's probably like five yeah you right. know um and so yeah they they just produce they bring up a bunch of shows uh for that summer late crowd have you done it before yeah we've done it uh how many seasons have you done it now uh this will be our fourth or fifth okay yeah, I've seen you post about that before. It's super fun because yeah. it's for us. It's like a vacation. Right. Good pictures, where, like the year. old days where we didn't yeah. have any obligations. We just do theater in the daytime and then, or uh, you know, hang out in the day and then do theater at night. Is it a it's full fun. week or like five days or what are you doing? Full week. Okay. Yep. Uh, it opens on a Tuesday, closes on a Sunday, and then you know Sunday and Monday is us just getting it ready. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's fun. Cool. And you guys prep that ahead of time, obviously. And yeah, we've already done it. it. We did it. It's our. It was our fall show this year. Oh. So we're just remounting it. Nice. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And when you say remount. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, just. Yep. I mean, it's that's what it is. They get there, and that's the first day. It's just remounting. Hopping on, and everybody just kind of gets reacquainted. You know, mounting. Starts the, remounting. Yes. So the do, the remounting is what I want to emphasize for different theaters. Or they, or is it just you specifically, or do they bring in different theaters through the summer? Yeah, they bring in a bunch of different ones. Okay. So they program all summer long, and then so uh, everyone comes in, does a week, and leaves. Okay. Yep. Yep. So it's us and probably like five or six other companies. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. 
So that's kind of taken up a lot of our summer or some a portion of our summer. And then we also offer classes that take up part of the summer too. You know, oh, and, and I suppose, and then the, the season gets started right at the beginning of, of the school year too. So mm -hmm. it's like, you, I mean, you must be pretty busy from <laughs> fall to spring. Yeah. Super busy. That's why the <laughs> summer is so awesome. Cause <laughs> To take a little break <laughs> well you're doing two sometimes three things right mm -hmm. and then yeah wow that's something else now i know you guys went to high school together. what about your wife did you meet her did, did you go to high school with your nope no nope. so you met her outside of that yep i met her in college okay smart you went to college that was smart <laughs> i don't know how smart it was <laughs> smarter than me not finishing so right well i went to i have a four year degree <laughs> I and i bartend so Cheers. <laughs> you guys have a podcast and I don't. So. Uh, I think. Uh, oh, hey, uh, I always. There's always I time like to start. Stuff stuff there's at the worst possible point. Um, but uh, I want to mention real quick because I do want to promote this because, like I said, I'm a huge fan. I'm, say say I'm, the name again. I don't just don't. Da. Da. <laughs> so if you want to go to. Da. Yeah, com. It's not da. dot com. It's deleco. dot com. Deleco arts. dot com. Yeah. You, they have season memberships, Throw which I, I definitely wanted to mention this. Shut up. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Go to ColecoVision.com. ColecoVision. Beep, 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 beep. All right. They have That's season cool. memberships. Gonna, yes, yes. No. really reasonable. I'm, I'm not going to talk about the prices. Show on, this fall. I'm not going to talk about the prices on the podcast, but it's extremely reasonable. Great group of people. And I thought it was awesome. Do you have uh, your like Tom schedule planned? I'm sorry, yeah. Do you, like so, you know what's coming up this winter and stuff. Yeah, new season is our. We just announced it in March, so that's coming up next year. Months. Sweet, I will be at one of those shows. Is this a redo? No, that's a new show. So you write these, don't you? Yeah. He oh, so he writes the Christmas specials, right? Yeah. At least once a year, you write. Um, something, don't yeah, you? I've done them every year that we've done a Christmas show, except for one. One. I year talked we... to a couple of the shtikas, and they said they love the shit out of every <laughs> single one of them. Yeah, well, I am going to have to see one. I Don't worry. I will I will get to one of these. You throw in a bunch of you, local you and I jokes. Well, and... and I think the kids I like that Peter, love it. Peter and the Star Catcher. That sounds fun. It's pretty fun, yeah. That's awesome. Constellations is cool, too, though. It's uh, That's a really okay. kind of trippy, weird show. Is it deep, like... More of a, it's more of a drama, but it's yeah. it's really interesting and, and thought provoking, and it's cool. It's not boring by any stretch. It's 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 a cool play. I took a uh, when I was at Normandale, I went to a I had a theater class where it wasn't like a theater me theater class. It was we would go to a theater every week. And oh, that was cool. our like four hour class, and so <laughs> I went to that class first one. First one they brought us to, there's a guy laying naked in the middle of the floor for the first 15 minutes of the show. And I was just like, <laughs> was it a drawing class or a theater? I wasn't offended I mean, at I, all, I, and I got why he was naked. I, I drew was a lot like, of naked bodies. This is a first. <laughs> what uh, do you, blew who, my mind. Who was your instructor? I don't remember. I don't remember. Was it a name. female? Maybe. It was a guy. Yep. Mm -hmm. It was a male. I don't know his pronoun, but I would say <laughs> him. He. I him. <laughs> A hinge. I my wife works there now. She's, oh, she teaches uh, in the theater department. I mean, this at was Normandale. like almost. Yeah, it was probably a while twenty ago. years ago, right? Or yeah. twenty. Yeah. Years ago. Yeah, I probably don't know anyone. Um, people that. who would have been there way back then. Yeah, I don't think. Well, he might still be there, but he was like fifty at the time, so I would assume oh, he's so. dead. <laughs> we can only hope. I, of course, I love that class. It's like, uh, we go to the theater, and then there was always yeah. these two people that I hung with. I was like, well, let's, like, we went to June Is Loon. one of them driving right? a tank now? And I'm like, well, let's go across the street. June Loon doesn't even exist anymore. I know, yeah. Uh, so stupid. But Theater in the Round, does that <laughs> exist either? Yeah, it does. Okay, that does now, still. It's okay. over, um... I thought they were mentioned in one of the articles I was reading. Yeah. But... Over out of Cedar? Yeah, Seven Corners, in mm -hmm. that area. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, Amanda, your wife... Yeah. You met her in college in Mankato. I did. Right? Yep, yep. And she used to work... At Mixed Blood? Yeah. Is that right? Yep. Also so, in the Seven Corners area. That's, I mean, that's what I'm saying. These guys are plugged into the scene. That's why I'm super <laughs> yes. happy to have you on. We I hope, definitely I hope. are. <laughs> 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 that's pretty much all we do for nine months of the year. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's, that's good. I mean, I love it. Any kids? No, none yet. Why are you always forcing that on people? We'll see. No, He's like asking. a grandmother. Curious. When yeah, are you going to see those kids of yours? 
Hey, it's a question. I get it. I'm fucking with him. I'm the nemesis, remember? We yeah. would like to have kids, so you maybe have a someday. Dog. I do have a dog. Huh. I have a basset hound named Molly. Hmm. Molly's cute. Molly's a big old fat basset. She's awesome. You, you are <laughs> such a fat basset. <laughs> She's fat exactly basset. what you would want a basset hound to be. She's lazy and doesn't care right. and it, i mean she's really happy when you come home like a normal dog but right. that's why i wanted a basset hound just something that would just lay around and be you know yeah she's that's her personality it's cool she got a good yelp on her oh yeah oh really yeah well those i guess dogs, that's what they're famous for right are, yeah she's a hound so if something yeah. gets up her bonnet she's, <laughs> you know mm-hmm, mm-hmm. just going to town who's ben tg Who's Ben Thetches? Say it, Dalako Arts again. Shut fuck you. I'm so, <laughs> so sick of it. So I fucked up a guy's name last week who yeah. is one of our friends. I called him Jack Casey instead of Jack Meyer, yeah. and I had no idea where it came from. I had it written down in my notes that yeah. way. He and yeah. I was like, hey, this is our and friend Mike McMahon like, and Jack Casey, and all of us were just who? like, Jack Casey? What's that? I don't know. It's a good porno name, though. Oh, I thought this was a basset hound. No basset. boyfriend? No problem. Sorry. No boyfriend? No problem. I The reason I brought this up was because I thought it was a uh, <laughs> a basset hound. Have you that, seen that before, that video. No. Well, you learn something new every day. Yeah, the dog lady. I love it. No boyfriend, no problem. Dub the dog lady. It's no, that's not <laughs> yeah, a basset hound, hounds. but it's, it's I, a dog. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was a basset hound. Here we are back on Romeo Miller. Rap snacks. Get your pack. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, I don't know. It's like so, like, rap snacks. I don't know. It's good. I think it's, I like it. I, I, I laughed so hard when I saw those. If actually get um, funding, that would be great. It's brilliant. It's a guy's face on the chips. Mm-hmm. It's perfect marketing for a famous rapper. I and just, the chips. We should save these for tomorrow. The fact that it's don't eat those. snacks. You should save them. That's the it's part the that gets rhyme. me. It's the middle rhyme. That right? it's snacks and mm-hmm. not, yeah. Well, what would it be? Yeah, because well, like, it's not specific. It's not like, you know, wrap corn nuts. You could put anything it's in wrap there. wrap snacks. <laughs> it's just you don't nuts. know what's in there. They're, they're uh, chips. You love corn nuts, don't you? Oh, corn nuts uh, are the best. Oh, I mean, you I love are, corn nuts, too. You, you and my brother. Oh, and of course you. Why it's, the fuck wouldn't you? Great. What, fl- what flavor do you like? He gets mad at me I because. I mean, you name it. Right? I'll, I'll eat it if it's corn nut. Barbecue. He gets mad at me because I'm eating stinky meat yes. sticks. Yeah, because but I smell like dirty butthole. Have you ever heard anybody eat corn nuts? For me, I can't remember what that syndrome is called, but I'm sure I have it because I get irate. It's just like... <laughs> well, when you're doing a podcast, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> well, no, I mean, just in general. Oh, like, okay. I, just hate, I would hate that sound. <laughs> we should corn do nuts that on I'm a podcast because just I... for like 15 minutes. Just eat corn nuts for 15 oh, minutes straight that'd be live it. on We'd, YouTube. I mean, we have like one person. It would be somebody's now, jam. Right? Yeah. Somebody would be into it. <laughs> Somebody would be like, I'm not going to lie. There is oh, three. God, I thought we were going to get like 10 today. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. There uh, are three people watching this mm-hmm. right now. That's a lot. Don't what, worry. Why are you guys watching? There's, you know what? I haven't even checked the chat yet. Should we check the chat? You guys, there's nothing on there. Already Let's did. Check the chat. Check the chat. <clears throat> nope. Does, does anybody have a question for Ben? Please. We... write in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> send, send us a question. <laughs> fuck faces. You know, I'm talking to you. Oh, we do sometimes Lord. we chat. Adam's address is well, and here's the deal: it we get you know people to watch the show, but it's always during the week. It seems like because, and I think Jason said it best, right? It, podcasts that release on like a Monday or a, a Tuesday, they they do a lot better. You know what I mean? Well, and so that's what like we do. At the time, it's yeah, like not people. It's not like people on. are not going to listen to this no, or watch no. it. It's just. We we do it when we can, but releasing it on a Monday or Tuesday is probably the best. It's better, yeah, a and, better time. And that's when he re- re-releases it on the yeah the pod, the, the pod, pod being and the iTunes. We'll get it on Monday. Because they're or killing Tuesday. time on their way to work or whatever, yep, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. And then Saturdays are not a good time to be live. I think I think when I get like a day shift job, that's when. But we'll that, be... that's what we have to deal with right yeah. now. So it's we'll I mean, like a we Monday do or Tuesday. We can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get more live people, but it is funny. There's three. I'm like, oh god, I suck. What are we doing? Who are you? Tell us now. <laughs> That's why. We, First I mean, names right I mean, now. I know you can see the chat thing on the side. Start typing. Somebody say hi to Ben. <laughs> it's Otherwise, going to hurt his feelings. If it was prove, prove you, that you're not a bot. A right lot of now. times, a lot of times, we'll see 
I think we're one of the three. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Charter? <laughs> no, we're not. Uh, I think a lot of times you'd see Tim would have already said something. And, for, and we're gonna have Tim on the show, Tim Doyle. Oh, cool. Yeah. You know and, Tim? You guys all went to high school together? Yes. Yes, yeah. we did. You know what? It, we should just kind of break that down. So we went to school together for years, right? Did you go to the? You didn't go to St. Wednesday. No, did you? No, I right? did not. Yeah, and uh, we, a lot of us all hung out <laughs> at our friend Jason's house. <laughs> yeah. A lot of ni- a lot of days, and you know, honestly, I never wanted to go home because it was ten mile drive to my house. From I didn't live in town, right? So and Jason's ten miles house was fucking, in town. It was awesome. You he lived had, ten miles from your from New. It Pride? was like nine, yeah, like nine miles. Jesus, and. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was out there. Short, yeah, short bus had a long way to go to bring you home, didn't it? <laughs> literally, yeah. Um, <laughs> literally, literally, that whole aspect. That whole aspect. Um, <laughs> that's an inside. Thing. Oh. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not literally. It's literally. Literally, I literally love you right now. Hey, uh, yeah. So I wouldn't want to go home, and then I found out that people were hanging out at Jason's house. Like, oh, let's go see what this is like. And it was awesome. We had like three different gaming systems. Yep. For sure we had Sega. Yep. And a Nintendo. Like an NES, right? I'm sure. I think he had everything. He, I would always have to go to my Cube. buddy's house to play a, a, a gaming console because my parents, I never got one. So. Right. Well, and the best thing about it was he had a basement that was like its own apartment. Yes. So there were never, I mean... Joy was never enjoy his mother. It yeah. was never down there. Yeah, except to bring us visit. food once right. in a while. Yeah, it was just peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. It was like, it was like having a uh, an apartment just for hanging out. Yeah. with a bunch of dipshit. And it wasn't kids. anything bad. Like we didn't do. I mean, I think later on we drank a little, but I don't remember any uh, of that. Joy, I don't remember any of that. I, it was after high school, I think. Like we all visited each other. Yeah, we didn't. Yeah. It was such innocent shit going on in that. Yeah, basement. lots of spankings. Yeah, like little um, tiny diddling of buttholes, but that's just it. like you know, not even this much of a pinky. But yeah. mostly just smelling. Yeah, yeah each other's buttholes, like a bunch of young, you know, puppies. We were like puppies. Yeah, yeah. And we made lots of videos. <laughs> oh, we did. That's, I that's they cool. did they made a uh, I was I wasn't there for it and did I you guys was... lose any Lego pieces anywhere? <laughs> it was always my nose. Was no, the they were always still with us. Right. We always had. The yeah, Lego I mean, I'm pieces. sure they were with you. <laughs> what? So I wasn't there for it, but they made a real world spoof, which was fucking great. Yes, it was so awesome. <laughs> oh my god, real world is that old? Yeah, yeah. Wow, we yeah. were we were in high school and, and college when that was going. Yep, on. and. Crazy. Seamus for some reason made himself gay in it. You yes, remember? He, yep, he did. He just like went gay, and I'm like, kudos for you know selling your part. I mean, he did a fantastic job. Yes, he did. <laughs> it was great. We were all solid performers back then. Oh my god, Pretty solid. <laughs> but it and it, you know, you went on. You to, guys didn't get camera shy. You. No, it actually worked out pretty well. I think all of um all of Ben's friends were kind of into it like you'd kind of come up with an idea and flesh it out and we can find this people on, would just try and help you can still find you know, the stuff and, like on Pornhub though right <laughs> we I mean of age so or red tube no I mean what's the gay one it's <laughs> is there a gay I mean think I think they're just like they have a section in the oh. sites right I don't know not that it Matt not that there's anything wrong with that mm. I'm drinking Coors Light. It's too bad. It's too I was just gonna say that is a crazy combo. I didn't. I shouldn't have had the Dr Pepper, but I was tired before. His I got liter here. of fucking cola here. But I always get excited when I'm here, so I don't need the soda. Yeah. And then I had the beer. That which can't is taste good together. That's weird. It wasn't. I'm not having any more soda pops. You need some wrap snacks to <laughs> wash clean it down. The palate. With some salty dry Eesh. snacks. And do you want some tequila? I wouldn't be I surprised if he opened that bag. Yeah, he brought that to me as a gift for letting me, him use, use my vehicle. I'm yeah. like, when have I ever drank tequila? I don't know. I never, but I thought it's a good tequila. Do you want it? <laughs> Do you like Just trying to pawn it off on somebody. <laughs> no, I'm good. Why? You you guys don't want the tequila? It's a gift. Enjoy. <laughs> No, no, I can't. I can't, you guys. I, you I think it should just be a staple on our desk or on the podcast. It's desk. fine. You can send that it over the there. Wrap snacks. 
I'll put it right. Two things we'll never <laughs> eat or drink. It's a decent tequila. That's why yeah, I like. You keep saying but he that. goes, I fucking hate tequila. I'm like, well, nice gift, lol. You know, lol. And yeah. I don't usually say lol. Oh, that's cool. It's shiny. It's shiny now. I like it. It's a good tequila. I've never heard of it. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm not googling. It's so good. I'm not I'm just, googling the tequila. I'm just giving it away. <laughs> Sounds like it well, needs no, to be it was a gift. A little bit. It was a gift. <laughs> You're like gifting a white elephant, right? No, there. it isn't. It's a bottle of booze. It's a. It's kind of a standard gift, honestly. Is Especially, it a re-gift? Did somebody give you that and you were like, mm, I don't my want wife this. had bought it, I think, from someone, hmm. and she's like, oh. in a garage sale for two ninety. She said, "I go, what's a good? I want to bring, you know." Lance a gift because I'm going through the hell of not having a vehicle for a week because apparently it takes a week to change a fuel pump, which mm. I'm not going to say the name of the place, local place, I'm not happy with right now. Tell us how you really feel. I want to kill the guy. Does Ted run it? <laughs> it's Ted's. You're it? like, you brought it's it there. Shopping. You brought it there, and I was like, Ugh. You're like, yeah, it's a pretty good place. I'm like, no. Nope. I've had decent luck there in the past, but it just fucking. Mm. So anyway, I'm going through that hell, and he, he let me borrow his truck for a day because I needed to get to work. Mm-hmm. And now I'm renting a car. But um, you still have a car? Till tonight, yeah. I'm gonna drop it off tonight. But anyway, I'm like, well, he Does was out of town, on it? and if I came in here to yeah, get his keys, Colorado. and I, I'm like, I asked my wife, I'm like, well, that would be a good bottle to give him as kind of like a thank you gift. You know? I'll give him this tequila that I'll never drink. So, you... <laughs> so he said, he's like, did you leave this bottle of tequila here? I was like, yes. He goes, I fucking hate tequila. And I was like, I just started laughing. Like, of course. Like, of course it's the worst booze ever. <laughs> Lots of people love tequila. Yeah. Yeah. If you go, you can go to Barrio and get, and you ask for suggestions, like get, I want smooth I want it to be smooth, decent value. You can pay. That like looks rough. Seven or and eight dirty. Bucks. It's in a bot. The bottle's not clear. You you have no idea. It's not red tequila. It's a red bottle. Is there tequila doesn't have the worm? It's mezcal has the worm, right? No, tequila does. It's on añejo, right? So it's dirty. It's aged. It's not dirty. You can make a margarita with it. You're dirty. Yeah, that's what it's for. I think is margaritas. You have to mix something in there, right? You with don't. This. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't like the people who are like, Adam let's take a shot of tequila. Adam and would then... probably just have that and a Dr Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you have to mix, <laughs> like a full bottle, or like a full <laughs> thing of pineapple juice afterwards. That's what people do with tequila. Like, oh yeah, I can't wait to take this tequila shot, but I must chase it with a pineapple juice. Right. That's well, especially this. It's a rough stuff. I get that this... at work a lot. Anejo. Tequila is is something you're gonna want to use with something else, some Dr Pepper. What do you mean? You're taking it home with you? Yeah. Well, well. Um, Amanda, text you know be us. Funny? Ben's driving away, and Adam's like, <laughs> and let us know running after like the tequila. car, like throws it in the window or something. Like, yeah, it's yours now. <laughs> Wait. Still three, three strong. You know what? It's. I'm excited. There'll be plenty of people watching it though. Did it not go? Oh, no wonder. <laughs> so are you a moviegoer, Ben? Do you like movies a lot? Yes. Okay. We saw um, A Quiet Place. That's great, wasn't it? Oh, yes. God. Actually, pretty I, cool. I'm pretty glad. good for those for the um, John and his wife. Kr- and the, Kr- yeah. Krasinski. Yeah. I did not know he married her. Wow. He, I didn't I'll either. They've coverage. been married eight or nine he years did. now. Eight or nine She's years gorgeous. now, dude. She's the Absolutely best. phenomenal. I love her. I, it's, they've been married eight or nine years now. Are you kidding me? Since 09. Oh. I did not know that. So but he the, was cheating on Pam? I hope from, so. She's awful. Are you talking awful. about Office Space? There's no Office. The Office? Or I never watched that, so I don't know. Pam is awful. I'm going to just was say a, it. Was that, his, awful... was that his love or crush on the show? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really? You don't know? That's like probably one of the most popular shows of all I time, I understand right? that. You didn't like it at which all? Is, which is based off of English fucking yes. original. And, that, and the English one is much better, is in it? my opinion. Better? Yeah. yeah. It's so fun. I watched so like funny. two of them. It is Ricky Gervais is fucking. He's the best. Yeah. Did you ever watch uh, Derek? Yes. Oh, so you did. Mm-hmm. Good. I It's like... I love Ricky Gervais. He's Me too. One of my fa- favorite. I, I love that guy. Did you so. see his new uh, special? Yes. And did you like it? Yeah. Well, 
Yes, I didn't like it as much as it's some a weird of his format, older ones. Right? His old, his the one previous to the one that he released was one of my favorite stand-ups mm-hmm. ever. <laughs> this new one, I didn't like like maybe the first ten minutes, and then it it really yeah. it clicked into gear. What but was he doing at awesome. the beginning? I, it remember. was all that. Um, uh, forgetting, I'm forgetting what it was about. Oh, that's um, all right. I I actually I really enjoyed it. And you know what I didn't like about it though? Was he did the thing he pulled out his phone. And comedians are doing this now. And like uh Joe Mich- Rogan makes him put him in a in a in a bag now. Yeah, so did when we went to I went to Dave Chappelle when he was here a couple of Julys ago and oh my god, that's fucking awesome. But um What's the phone thing? I don't remember this. So he pulls out the phone. Do you want another beer? Uh yeah. Sure. Right. That was right. that was my way yeah, of like, hey, telling you. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend to knock this beer, beer over. I didn't, it's funny. I didn't think you were a cat person. <laughs> Here you guys oh. are back are drinking in somebody's basement again. Yeah. Oh, cool! Rap beer. Joy, we Thank did you. not drink in the basement ever. I What's think Coors Light is rap beer? <laughs> yeah, isn't it? pretty much. <laughs> where, okay, where was I? Oh, what's the what's the phone thing? The phone thing did? where he had his bits on a phone. He pulls out the phone and he's talking about like Twitter wars he's having with people. Oh remember? yeah, I do remember that now. You know who else did it? Who's I think is one of the best. Oh, the I know new comedians, was... Michelle Wolf did it too. I don't know her. She did an HBO special, and I first saw her on there was an HBO. It was. It was for it was a charity event, like a telethon or something. Yeah, and um, she had a little segment there. And she talks about, and she just did a few minutes, and her walk off was, she was talking about she would, didn't like a date with a guy who was like, first of all, I'm not gonna take a guy up to my room who can't eat bread, you know, like uh, his gluten allergy or whatever. Yeah. And she, and the last line is because I'm gonna need you to be okay with yeast. And then she just whoosh, walks off, and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was good. I mean, that's a good walk off line. I know what she's talking about. She's talking about. Her. Mm-hmm. Um, I watched a stand. I wouldn't know. That's a clinical. I wouldn't thing. know anything about that. Mm-hmm. I'm androgynous, so it's all good. That's cool, man. Good for you. Mm-hmm. Did you have that whole thing finally like clayed in? Just like... a flat plate. <laughs> Nothing going on down like there. A, like a Star Wars yeah. figure. But so you don't get aroused anymore? Is that what you're saying? I do. What do you do? You just kind it of bounce Oh, cool. Yeah. Like when it's cold. The hair out. stands up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm an idiot and I actually pictured it (laughs) new stand up that I found uh, a couple of days ago that I really liked on Netflix James Acaster have you seen this guy I haven't seen it and I'll look it up he's a British dude so you know you might want to throw on the subtitles because every once in a while oh has he got a dirty does he got a little bit of a dirty accent where it's hard to yeah it's a little hard every once in a while but the dude's writing is off the chart James Acaster yeah he's uh, it was awesome stand up it's a series uh, on Netflix Um, I think there's four of them is it called The Stand Ups Uh, no or it's just his it's it's just him Uh, oh cool it's a special that's just him (laughs) and they recorded I think four performances wow it's really funny stuff check it out okay you like tell you what I, I wasn't very impressed by tom segura's new one. Oh, oh i loved it i liked it but um i think his, his old stuff is still his better. last two are For way sure. better. his yeah. last two are way better than this one he yeah. got so much hate from people in louisiana though that it's almost fun, worth it just to watch that part when he's basically like just rips on louisiana yeah. the dude's funny man he, <laughs> he is he's, he's great well his podcast is for sure not PC. Like this one, we'll say, you know, stuff we're not supposed to say sometimes. And, um, But their podcast, him and his wife. It's called Your Mom's House. Have yeah. you heard of it? That's it's great. It, But all they do is, it's just like, they've got a bunch of, like, gags that they go with continuously. And they play a bunch of YouTube stuff. People send them in songs um, with, like, like they'll, uh, with watch, clips they'll watch their... clips of people, like, booty, like, big black women, like, booty farting like yeah they like, one of their things that they do is they love farts okay and so you can see why i would gravitate towards sure. this, this show it's right up your alley it literally yeah you know what i mean yeah i feel like a, a leg- rectal uh, brotherhood you know but <laughs> god they're still part of you there's though. no legos just matchbox cars 
Um, but with, they with or without condoms. They have this guy on there. They introduced the world to him, even though he was already fairly famous for it. Uh, King Ass Ripper, and he he was doing what he's doing is these are like they've kind of figured out that he was in like the fetish market, like with these videos. He's in his underwear. And one of the things he does is gorge himself, like just eat and eat and like gluttonously and spill stuff on himself. He's like, oh, yeah. It's what? Fucking, what? It's really okay. what he sounds like. Sweet. And then so they like, introduced this guy to me and I was like, I don't like those videos, but the fart ones are the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. So the other thing is he farts? He farts like you would not. So he eats believe. and then farts. Yes. And his farts, there's one that's like 45 seconds long and like. Slowly but surely, you start to see the brown streak show no. up in his fucking cotton nut grundies. No. Yep. So it's... that's... I didn't watch it until after they had played it on their podcast. I'm just laughing. I'm like, there's no way it's fucking real. No way. I'm just yeah, laughing. His wife's a comedian, too. Chris, yeah. Christina Pajitsky. Yes. Yes, I've seen yeah. her. Yeah. I didn't like her special at all. No, I didn't either. In, I, I thought she I don't think she's funny. Better. I'll I just, think she's funny on the I'll show. I'll just say it. I, I, well, on the show, yeah, but yeah. not her stand-up. Is... I don't think her stand-up was that good, no. I, she could have done, with how the things she talks about, she could have done way better. I think she tried to stay too much on a, on a, on a theme instead of just kind of letting it rip. Wasn't her new stuff like about mommy shit? <laughs> yes. Yeah? Yeah. Boring. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure there's plenty of moms that love it. Well, I'm sure she's hitting a she's hitting a certain demographic, yeah, you know. Yeah. So whatever. I'm just yeah. saying it's not for me. But they do like live podcasts and stuff, and they're friends with Joe Rogan and sure. I don't have you. Do you listen to podcasts ever? Yeah, yeah. The, I I've heard the. I, I don't. I'm not a regular listener of the Joe Rogan right. podcast, but I've definitely. It's kind of everybody's go to yeah. when you're talking to people about it, but yeah. there's a lot it's out there. Mm-hmm. I, 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 besides that, I gravitate towards like uh, stories, like uh, um, serial killer kind of stuff. Podcasts, those are of course. Fun, so. yeah, Cause I like serial. How killers. far away is the door? <laughs> you're in the corner, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Did you listen to Serial? Then I'm assuming. Yep. Um, yeah, that was that was cool. Yep, uh, you introduced me to Shit Town. Shit Town was pretty awesome. It, I'm getting chills thinking about it. I was yeah. so emotionally invested. I know it was a great in podcast. That show. Did, it, have you listened to uh, Serial too? Then I only listened to like three episodes because Serial's better in my opinion. I'm yeah. sure it is better, but, but I just did listen to it last. My wife yeah. listened to the whole it, thing. It really yeah. depends on who. Like, it really dep- like the podcast, like things like that. I've tried several different ones. If I'm not invested in the person telling the story, then I'm not invested at all. Really, mm. really how kind of it's how it sells itself to it, you know. So yeah, yeah. I don't know. I've listened to a few guys where they're like doing sound effects in the background, and they're way too much into the like. Um, it can be a little too much sometimes, depending on what they're doing. Sure. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I have been just gobbling up. The uh, rap snacks. <laughs> Not <I hope>. yet. <laughs> I want to see Cookie Monster eating rap snacks. You want some? I don't uh, know why. You want a liter of no, Dr. But Pepper? Liter of goddamn, goddamn liter of cola? No, yeah. I'm good. Um, Speaking of which, um, stop. Just wait. <laughs> I've been. Hang on. Just let me. I'm, I'm doing this on purpose. I know. I know. I've been gobbling up, like Dick. the <laughs> squatch. Like all the Sasquatch oh, stuff yeah. I can find, and like ghost stories and Sasquatch, oh. I am just, I'm I love every second of it, and I I'm like these people are so fucking goofy, yes. but sometimes are they, I'm are like, they? are they? I don't know. Did I, you guys ever listen to uh, Coast to Coast? Yeah, that was I am George I, like George Norrie and yes. Art Bell. Yeah, yeah, Art Bell, R.I.P. Yeah, yeah that's Didn't right. That was this away week. Last, yeah, last week. Yeah, oh, R.I.P. Do it, Art Bell. I would be l- like. Two in the morning, I'd be like, I remember listening to Art Bell when I was like a kid, listening in my bed, like at one or two in the morning to fucking coast. To Dude, coast Art to coast. Bell, coast to coast, that was some of the best shit ever. I loved that. I, no matter especially what. if you were I up agree. late and yeah. like you weren't drinking. He was or anything. so good at like, um, just egging those crazies on, yeah. you know, like, yeah. but also making it seem like it like, could be real. Right. Uh, yeah, he was the he best did. Host. He was the better of all of them. I prefer Art Bell. Yeah. Nuri yeah, for, sure. for me got a little boring sometimes. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Um, 
push the you know like art bell would push them he would like sort of make it scarier than they wanted to make it whoever he had on Some, the car, then, it, collars or whatever and then you'd know like if you were talking to somebody that was completely off their rocker they would just all the time they just go with it right and then the good ones the good guests you were like oh maybe this fucking guy is telling the truth because he was just like no that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is it's possible yeah 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 People, like anybody that would rein their perspective back in you know yeah that i, I was a uh, this guy is telling it's awesome. He had his own studio in fucking what was it, Utah? That's why I like David yeah. Polites is because he doesn't like just throw. And back then, having your own studio is amazing. Like mm-hmm. he had his own in New Mexico or something. And then he used to broadcast from like the Philippines or something, right? Because his he wife, moved, yeah. his wife was Filipino. I wonder yep. if so. He went over there. And then he said it was like he was. That's what he said. Or something, yeah, because right? he, he loved to just stoke. He, he yeah. poked everyone. I loved it. Well, one of the most famous radio things like that a lot of people will remember and can point to um you know not war of the worlds obviously but um the uh he had a guest on who said oh i worked in area 51 blah, blah, blah. and then the whole transmission cuts out for yeah like 14 minutes that. and then do they play it's the end of the world as we know <laughs> i don't know but later and you can listen to this i think you've probably heard it too lance but um, you can listen to it, and and then they come back, and Art's like, oh, you know, well, we don't know what went on. I have no idea. You got to wonder, did somebody cut us off? And then, you know, how he's just stoking yep. it, like he said. And then later the guy calls back, and he's like, no, um, I just that was a joke. Uh. Mm-hmm. And so it went, got into this big debate, right, which for me, the guy called back too many times for me to think that he, <laughs> what were you doing right there? I can't remember Sorry, I'm not going to watch this anymore. How about um, My Dad Wrote a Porno? Have you guys listened to that at all? No. No, but I... What's you're the that? second person it's to fucking mention awesome. To so this this dude found... A, My dad wrote a porno. A, a porno... A, a porno... A, an erotic novel that his dad wrote. <laughs> like, he didn't have it published or anything. He just wrote it and um, like kept it, I don't know, under his bed or wherever. And the the dude found it and was like, holy shit, this is an erotic novel written by my dad, who's, by the way, still alive. <laughs> and so he got his friends together, and they put a they, they do a podcast where every episode is him reading a chapter. That's and then awesome. they just stop and break it wait, down. Wait, wait. And they break down. it down? Yeah. Oh, it's fucking funny. Yeah, type it in. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you got to check it out. It's well, pretty I'm putting awesome. I'm in my notes right now. Because his dad's. What's it called again? My, my dad wrote a porno. <laughs> I believe that's right. That's a podcast. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm not gonna sit here and look it up, but I'm yeah, just so, saving it. Okay, check it out. It's funny. It'll make you laugh. So those are all. I mean, pretty good suggestions. If you want goofy, nasty, go with your mom's house. Joe Rogan for me was is I should say a little too much sometimes. I think that. You can't watch. Seen, here, don't you? Yeah, fine. you can't you just can't, constantly be listening you can't to it, right? Constant. It's you pick and choose. Yeah. what you pepper them in there. What, what but, you want to? It's like yeah. this. It's yeah. based on the guest, I think. For yeah. me, if if yeah. he, if he's interviewing yeah. somebody that I want to hear more about, right? Yeah, I'll tune. You're in. not gonna listen to every I do that fucking with Marin episode. Too. You right. know. Um, and the main thing with him for me though is I will pick and choose guests, and then he'll have, um, he flip flops. A little bit. Like, mm. he tries to acquiesce to what the guest is saying. And there's some guests you ha- he has on where you can tell he totally agrees with them. And everything is right. And then he'll have another guest on that has a different point of view about the same thing. And he'll kind of, like, walk that back a little bit. Uh. And he won't be as... Aggr- and I would rather see him be like, you know, I'm sh- you might have heard when I had this guest on. I actually believe, you know, a little bit of the opposite of what you're saying. You know, I, I want to hear more about what you have to say. But it'd be... For me, I think it would be better. So... I've caught him do that a couple of times, and I'm like, eh, I mean, I know he's trying to, you know, help, you know, the show move on and everything and do have a good show, but I would, I'd like to see him, you know, kind of challenge people a little yeah. bit more. Yeah, yeah. And I think he does, he does challenge, like the when the comedians come on and stuff more. But if he's talking to somebody who's, you know, like a a professor or a or an expert in their field, he doesn't really challenge them ever, mm-hmm. which would be kind of nice. Um, but because when you're listening to that type of a podcast, you want to have hear the a real conversation, you know? Yeah, exactly. 
Um, but yeah, it's it's that's why I can't watch um, or listen to all of his. It's because I catch him doing that. My dad wrote a porno. That is, you're the second person to mention that to me. I wish I could remember. Who the ben, first what were some was. of your favorite movies of last year? Not this year, last year. Yeah, we should get into movies. Mm. We do this all the time. Okay, so we get. Let's do movies now for a while. Yeah. Thanks, okay. Adam. All right. You're um, welcome. Shoot. You're welcome, Romeo Miller. <laughs> Did you like Wind River? I didn't see it. Ooh. Do yourself yeah. a favor. Wind River? Yeah. Yep. Who's in that? Uh, Jeremy Renner. Jeremy Renner. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, from Hurt Locker. Mm-hmm. Um, Hawkeye. Avengers. Hawkeye from yep. Avengers. Yep. Yeah. yeah he's, he's one of my favorite he's really new good. actors. He's, he's been around for several movie. years, but. He played Jeffrey Dahmer in Dahmer. Yes. Did, Did you like that? Yeah. I thought it was actually really good. He's yeah, coming out with another movie where he's doing like a character. Um, well, of course, he's in the movie, but like a, you know, a deep He's character. an actor. He's coming out in a movie. <laughs> yeah, but he's doing like a deep, you know, dive like Daniel Day-Lewis style. Oh. You know, where he makes himself somebody else. The actual, like an actual person. I don't know. Jeremy else. Renner is still pretty much Jeremy Renner when he acts. Daniel Day-Lewis is like the king of acting to me. He's, know? yeah, I mean, he's. It's like as far as like inv- becoming a different entity. You know, he disappears pretty much. Yeah. I mean, you can't tell that it's him anymore. Right. Yep. And um, who else? Did Unlike a pretty good De Niro job. or Pacino. Pacino just actually I want to. I started watching it, but things. Pacino is in the things. new HBO uh, thing thing called Paterno, where he plays Joe Paterno. Yeah. Stop wasting my motherfucking time. <laughs> That's coming out. Pretty it's already out, I believe. Is it? Yeah, I Pizza. watched part of it. Um, I was watching part of it the other night in Colorado when I was there. What is it? Paterno. It's called Paterno. Oh, about Sandusky and all that shit. It's an HBO, I believe. <sighs> yeah, right? it's a special. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe that that went on for so long. And then the Michigan State thing—it's like the same. I thing. I feel bad for Paterno. Like he, I don't. He could have. He should have stood up to her, the whole thing. He was. He's talking to kids about achieving and striving to be something great and then he's like hiding that behind the curtain he knew what was going on you know he he did yeah the he guy did. reported to him he caught the guy butt fucking a kid in the shower right he should have just ran his ass out of there like i don't care if it, the kid was 20 years old which he wasn't it's like that is not you're this person's role model you're supposed to be helping yeah, them yeah sandusky was fucking that kid in the shower he is a fucking I'm surprised he didn't die in jail yet. Did he die? No, he's still alive. Damn it. I looked it up. I wish he was dead. He's, he's, probably, he's, he's in the old prison. Dude, he, I'm he sure is. he's getting... I'm sure his asshole's, asshole is wild. It's I, that or solitary, which I don't know which one would be worse open. after a while. <clears throat> you got to get used to it, right? <laughs> one way or the other. i to let ben, ben tell us some of his favorite movies. Yes. Well, I was just, we I'm bad at remembering, so I was looking... Um, when Black Panther. Did you guys like that? Didn't see it. Yet. I loved it. Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. And I am not a fan of uh, the... superhero movies. Cool. Yeah. I'm just I'm Besides over Superman. it. It's yeah. I'm over yeah. it. It's there's too yes. many. They're, I agree. They're but f- shooting them all like cards. that one was good because that one was so good. Let me ask you something. Okay, for you, was it? Did you leave there with the knowledge? Like, I think I thought the movie was so good because of everything that happened. But well, that's also specific. God, you're an asshole. The movie man. was good because the it, movie happened. It, 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 you know, it, it, that happened. it is what it is. Yeah. Okay. Let me fucking finish. So, is there a reason you did time. a Bill Cosby impersonation I don't know. just now? Just because it's current events, you know, and somebody I used to love and now hate too. You know, <laughs> fuck him. But he and he, Sandusky. Yeah. Well, Sandusky. Yeah, they're both just as bad. You know, taking advantage of people. But anyway. Let me go back to the Black Panther, and I wasn't just being Captain Obvious because what I was going to say. I was, liked it because of all that stuff. Well, yeah, all of the explosions and the fighting and the okay. acting well, was that's good. More specific, okay, thank okay, you. Okay, all of that was good. The ass, the all the little parts of the movie were good, Lance. Okay, now moving on. What I thought was even better was how they basically, because it's its own universe essentially in the comic books, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Wakanda, yeah, right? and. So they had to develop that whole universe in the movie. Then they had to develop the superhero and the villain. And they had to bring in some of the outside stuff, too. So not only did they had two villains in the movie, and both were, like, flushed out pretty well. I'm like, for you, for, 
everything that they fucking crammed and then the classic superhero story for everything they crammed into that movie and it didn't feel once like contrived or or slow or overly descriptive or you didn't really miss anything you know what i mean it's, Man, pretty, it it's pretty fun. Pretty good. It's a well structured movie. Yeah, it's I mean, fun. besides how fun it is. What else did you like? Um. So here are the here's what here's the stuff that I recent I've uh, recently seen. And okay. You guys can decide what we want to talk about. Okay. It sounds good. Um, I like it. Annihilation. I had um, yet to see that. I want to go see it in the theater, and they already pulled it. It was. I waited too long on that. Did you read the books? Okay. No. Okay. No, I did. Because that's the thing. I guess I didn't know it was a series of books. I thought reading, looks, reading books is a thing. No, the, I didn't know Annihilation. <laughs> I guess was a, I guess you can read these that, things. That story that are, comes from a series of books. Yeah. What? I did reading. not. On I a scale of one to ten, what did you give uh, Annihilation? I gave it, well, I gave it out of five, I gave it a three and a half. Oh. And Should we do? Generous. I didn't really okay. like it that much. Out of five? Um, you do it yes. on a five scale. Yeah, that's, yeah. Um, you have more wiggle room on a ten scale. Would that be like a scale. seven on a seven, or one on a ten scale? <laughs> yeah, it'd like be about a, six, a seven. Six, six and a half. Six and a half. And a half. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go with the five scale, though. I like it. Because you can do half stars on a five. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, what's the um, the actress who was in that, though? I can't see Natalie her. Portman. Natalie Portman. Wait. Oh, shit. I'm thinking of a different movie. No, yeah. Annihilation. It was weird. It was trippy. It was really weird. Okay. What were you thinking about? I otherwise? was thinking of who's the girl Amy who? Adams? Yeah. What's that Amy Adams Arrival. movie? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Did of. Did you like the movie? No. Really? I, I liked didn't. The movie. Did you? Oh, I love that. That's the one where she's showing him like ink. One of my favorite of the year. Show, yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, and just because she, you well, want Jeremy see more Renner's in it stuff? again. You guys love Jeremy Renner, right? <laughs> I love. I love. Yeah, her. I like flying squids too. I thought she really <laughs> nailed it. You don't like Amy Adams uh-uh. then. You don't think she's got the star power, do you? She sucks. <laughs> I I kind of agree. I don't think well, she's he the would best know. actress. And, I mean, she. I mean, a, a lot person. of people. She's been nominated for you know X number. I think of she's Oscars. overrated. I think she's way overrated. I'm not gonna lie. I had this completely. I think she's the same held up opinion. on a pedestal a little bit too much, and I just don't like I it. I don't. I just don't get it. I, had, I don't know what it is. I had the same opinion, but I will say in Arrival, I think she really. She plays Lois Lane. Lois Lane and, and fucking. Super, I don't like Superman. her in Superman. She, yeah, I, yeah, I'm not down with that either. Go home. You're drunk. <laughs> Lois Lane. Did you guys see The That's Disaster the Artist? He slash did. Have You Seen The Room? Yes, yes. He keeps forgetting the name of those two movies, but he did see those. I loved it. I haven't seen I think they. I think they did a sweet too. justice to them. Um, I think that was done out of a nice, lighthearted, like out of love, uh, out of right? love and endearing way. Probably yeah. people but who are making like, movies you know, really I was making fun it. of them, but saying, "Hey, look at the specialness, special friendship, and like what they had together and where they came, and you know, just it even it made them even bigger." Right. So you know, yeah, it was making it was poking fun at the film, which. I mean, that's the whole reason it's popular, right? But also saying like Possibly this is a story the about ever. like somebody having a dream and going after that dream and actually, you know, making the thing that they wanted to make. And which... maybe they didn't achieve the success they want the the way they wanted it, but they achieved success in a certain way. In a different way, yeah, yeah. 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 And I'm sure helps that... that you have millions of dollars. I guess, right? <laughs> yeah, I, we were talking about this on the podcast. Where does he, his money come from? He's got to have some like world. Post- we think world he's a Polish guy, like Polish, like weird money or something. You think you know he's a Polish like, guy? Something like where his grandparents or something they had a stash yeah. of something, and he just they were sitting on money, and he inherited it. That's mm-hmm. what it was. I guarantee it. So you're saying they were like Nazis? Well, he. I don't know. I just know. <laughs> Okay. Let's talk about Nazis. Moving now. on. Right. Let's get into a deep conversation right. about Move Nazis. Move on with your movies and their abortion. Uh, Red Sparrow. Haven't seen that like yet. That? I didn't see that either. I do. I, I remember... have a problem with Jennifer Lawrence. You don't like Jennifer no. Lawrence? No. Oh, here's my Russian accent. Yeah. Oh. Fuck off. <laughs> Seriously? I didn't see Did that. Did you like but... Silver Linings Playbook? Oh, I, I loved did. it. That was I good. American I mean, I, was, I didn't great. think it was like the best movie ever, but I enjoyed it. I. Me too. I thought it was a very well made movie. Do you, what did you guys think of her performance in American Hustle? Uh, it was fine. I loved her outfit. <laughs> Actually, she didn't I haven't need seen to that do much yet. in that movie. No, but she pulled it off. I it's still have not seen movie. that movie yet. That's uh, a decent movie. I know and you know, talking, I have. A, I know exactly what you're talking about. You know that I have a man crush on Christian Bale, so yeah. it's like well, it's the over. Christian He's in Bale? something. It's over. I'm watching. <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> <laughs> Where is she? 
That's my Batman impression. That's good. It's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely, yeah, good in case. the ballpark for sure. I prefer the Pete, Pete Holmes, Holmes version. version of Batman. So that's Is, my. If I do an impression, it's of Pete Holmes doing the impression <laughs> sure, of Batman. Sure, that works. Do you watch the show Crashing? I like it a lot. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's so good. He's a funny dude. I didn't know him prior to that Pete show. Holmes? I'm binging yeah. season two. He, he had a TV show. Season. He had his own talk show for a little bit. He's got that. a podcast too, which is kind of fun. I loved his episode with Sarah Silverman. It was right after her. Thanks, her thanks guy. Sickness, but yeah, he's uh. You made it weird is the name of his podcast. It's great, and he's cool because he's like, he's funny. He's really funny. He doesn't just like me or like anybody. He doesn't just do dick and fart jokes. You know what I mean? He's, yeah. He just he's got it. It's, he's a really funny guy. Yeah, he's, I like his. Comes through season two really grew in my opinion, like his character and everything else. It just he really, I think he really pulled it off in season two. Mm-hmm. It's almost like Louis season three for me, where I went season three and four went from, you know, kind of wry, harsh comedy, you know, to this went to almost a little bit darker place and then it became more of comedy slash art. You know what I mean? Like that was a very artful season. I know we're not supposed to talk about Louis anymore, but whatever. It was awesome. I went to a, oh, st- I went to a stand up <laughs> I stand up in the Twin Cities. He didn't here. beat off in front of me, so I don't care. Well, I've seen him two live. Two summers ago, I was at a stand up. Oh, you guys are lucky. I've seen him live four it was times. Great. I love him so much, yeah. but come on. Really, dude? You're I mean, going to do that? He was a lot younger. He was going through all this shit. I'm not for sure I'm not making excuses. I've been a lot younger in my life as well. Right. And I never beat off in front of I can, people I, without their consent. Like, I'm just checking right now. Is this still okay? Like, no, Come it never on, was okay. Man. That is yeah. It's just More so power weird. to you, Louis C.K. <laughs> Did you just high five the, the, <laughs> the forced beat off? Yeah. <laughs> hey, show me what you got, buddy. When you put up, like, if you were rate, like, this is maybe not right. Maybe we shouldn't do it, but I'm going to do it. If you're rating, like, worse, like, we'll go Sandusky's the worst, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And, like, uh, Darren Sharper's the worst, right? Who's Darren Sharper? He he was a former Viking. The, he played oh, for the, the Saints, and he played. What did I he think, do? He just straight up was raping chicks. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he was a raper? He I think was, he was, he like, was drugging them. Drugging them. Rip, I didn't no. know that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's in. He's still in jail. He's a good looking guy. Yeah, I remember him. NFL remember him. player. Like, yeah. He's a very good looking guy. Probably shouldn't have a I problem getting laid. Him, but yeah. Mm-hmm. But well, because don't lie. It's, you totally would. I think it's about power more than it is about getting laid. It's, yeah, right? it's, it's all up here. Right? I just think it's a, it becomes a game at one point. I don't get it. Like, couldn't you? You could also be like, this is the game I like to play. And get people to so, act it out. This too. game is called "You're Gonna Fall Asleep" without committing a crime against somebody's body and nature and yeah. their whole spirit, yeah. and, like crushing them. Right. It's fucking not a. cool. Do you have any other not movies? Cool. Since Wait, going we're away? rating. We're rating. <laughs> What's the rating? Of- so we got. Can you rate Louis higher as if like like better, less of an asshole, than you can do like a Cosby type deal? Le- way less of an asshole. Louis less for sure. What do you okay. mean? Well, it, the, this, this the is like intent this is the same, like but the this, this the, is how far apart they are. They're like this. This is right. He didn't rape fifty women. I get it. This is the but, whole. Um, this is, have you heard the Bill Maher argument that there I are levels but, to this? Yeah. Like everybody can't be painted with the same brush. Like right. yes, what Louis did yes. was wrong. Yes, we should be disgusted by it. Yes, he should pay a price for Maybe it. Maybe he should it's even go to not, jail. He's but, not raping people. He's not molesting children. You know, like it's yes. different. There are different yeah. Yeah. levels for sure. I agree yeah. 100%. Adam might not, but. that I you just, think they're the same? No, I just, see, don't just paint that. You went, <laughs> yeah, I have <laughs> a complex idea of what's going on. Don't act like I'm just like. Right, but they're way totally, they're, they're, they're on a far end from a di- way different. Parts of it are very, very different, but parts of it are very much the same. Get, all all of that. it goes into the wrong column. Right. All of it goes into the wrong right. And the intent, sure. though. But how deep it goes is another thing. Yes. Right. Yes. He was just better at controlling himself because I guarantee if he could go from, like, I can't even imagine. Like, oh, uh, that's cool. Uh, you do that every time I come, you walk into my yeah, house. Yeah, but you have totally okayed that. Um, But I can't even imagine doing that part. Like, how the fuck do you get to that point? And then, so part of it is the same, okay? And then there's the. 
No, Gary. Differentiate. Get down there and suck, suck my, my dick. dick. Well, we can't. We also can't imagine <laughs> having the money and power that these guys have. Yeah, it's, you it know becomes that a, is a huge factor, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. That's what makes him think he can masturbate in front of somebody without asking. And basically thinks, tell them they're gonna. You know, it's me. Why? Since would you I'm care? helping you, I can beat off in front of your face. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. And so, see, that's the kind of the part that's the same to me. Is, sure, you can put those in the same ballpark. I mean, but, there's yeah. a thin thread that is like not totally, penetrating anybody. I know, but it's totally still is, the idea and is not drugging them either. Still bad. All of it's in the bad Way, column for sure. Super bad. Yeah. But yeah, I, don't know. I mean, it's sexual assault. Different levels of bad. Yeah. I mean, I versus kinda, rape. I kind of live that life myself too, so I don't think it's that bad. <laughs> versus rape, it's you, ten times not as bad. Okay, but thank you. Sexual assault is still like like will totally fuck somebody up. No matter what, I saw Louis C.K.'s penis, <laughs> and he was taking advantage of like me being dependent on his show that I was on. You know what I mean? Like, it's just it, part of it's the same. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying he's as bad. I have problems not liking him still to this day because I do like him. I still like him. Well, yeah. Well, like I, Ben Ben Thiekji from Delico Art says, "Are you making fun of me or him? You um, <laughs> paint it with a different brush." You maybe should drink a beer. <laughs> and someday I think we can. I mean, we can, they're <laughs> all in the wrong column, but and and by the way, yeah, okay. I think you know he, I agree with him. with yeah. Louis C.K. I think is just you know he there needs to be some time where he is away from. You think you think he'll make I a comeback? He, yeah, I think he'll make a comeback. Does he want to? And I think it just has to be a thing. He He's very good. Fucking Paul Rubin made a comeback. Yeah, he's yeah, all really... he did was masturbate. But well, still, that was pretty fucking crazy at that time. No one's better at you know uh, shining a a light on his own shittiness than Louis right. C.K. And that's <laughs> right. what he'll do. Yeah. Which and it's you know that's he was good. kind of already doing that. Yeah, if you I watch mean, those old he was stand-ups, saying that he was, he was you watch him in interviews. Stories. You watch him in interviews with women, and he'd be like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna go home and spank it to you tonight, honey." Yeah, he'd say that in interviews. Right, right. So. Yeah, that's not. So he he I, will come back. It's does just, it make it not funny now that he said that stuff? Yeah, I think it makes it way less funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. It makes it okay, way less funny if that. it was real. We for sure, agree on that. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> see, the the difference is, I think he can come back and be like, "All right, listen, I you know I I have some introspection and I know what I did was wrong, blah blah blah, and have a career." And I think we could all probably get on board with that. Most of us. Yeah. If Sandusky came back and was like, you know what, you guys, <laughs> no. I thought about it, and it's fucking all those little eight year olds is weird, man. and no, especially in the there's shower. no coming back from especially that. Especially in the it's shower, true. totally at true. Penn yeah. State, and... so it's different. There are different levels yeah. for sure. I destroyed yep. an icon. That paint from that brush mm-hmm. is hard, way harder to get mm-hmm. off. That's an oil based yeah. paint. Okay, that's a... <laughs> yep. You need some fucking turpentine for that. Oh shit. my god, that's a really good. Yep. No <laughs> that's good. a good. Um, Perspective. I really like. That. <laughs> it's like rap you know, guys, I fucked up. Rap right? snacks. <laughs> no, motherfucker. Get your game on. Like, with rap there will snacks. be people in the audience with fucking guns. Don't open those. These have to be. We'll find a shelf. We'll get a shelf. That and the tequila. Those are two things we just don't open. The tequila and the rap snacks. Are we sure these aren't hip hop snacks, though? Let's be honest. Romeo Miller. I'm gonna have to listen to some of his. The stuff. night that you mix the two. Is a night to remember. <laughs> or a night Rap to snacks or and for tequila. To forget. Have you ever seen uh, It's Legend, right? Is that your favorite movie of yeah, all time? Yeah, you still haven't said you're going to watch it with me. I will. I will. Well, I now am, that we're both saving money. Have you seen we'll... Legend? I Am Legend? No, Legend. No. With Tom Cruise. It's old. It's like from one of 84. No. With it's... Darkness and then the devil and everything. you never seen that? I've never heard of it. Oh, my God. No, I should check that out. Tom Cruise, huh? Yeah. It's basically the same story as Taps. No, it's not. It's it's not. It's, it's a fairy tale. I've never seen it. Yeah. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, let's, um, well, he was him. in something else similar to a fairy tale, too. It was called uh, Coast Recon. Tom Cruise never looks older. Is that weird? He's starting to know. Really? Yeah, you see it in the, in the new uh, trailers for Mission Impossible. I like Tom Cruise it. less than I like Louis C.K. Because of the Scientology. Yeah, like he's participating in, like, they do, like, slavery and stuff. Correct. It's I think like, he's 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 trying to get out of that right now. Oh, there's no possible. Good luck way he could. to you, sir. And he's not like gonna make. He's like, like the poster more. boy for that fucking religion. Yeah, too. he's in it to win it. They have a channel on Directv now. What does? 
Uh, Scientology. Okay. So they're pushing hardcore on advertising right yeah, now. Yeah, and I'm that's like K fam. You know what that tells me? If I was K fam, I'd be dying like, no. quick. Because when you before you die, you, you burn bright, and they're trying to burn bright and grab on anything they can right now. So they're putting well, a bunch of mo- money into fucking advertising. Terrible right press now. going on lately, and so that makes sense. Well, they're. Um, we need to start wrapping this up. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we'll do. We'll do get about another ten minutes or so. Because I wanted to. That's fast. Okay. Because I wanted to. Uh, I know. I know. It's, we are. He's on a time crunch because he has a show tonight. Yeah. So I mean, and we really just started getting into it. This is so fun. And I, I was late. No, usually I would. Like, no, it's fine. Minutes. Usually we do two out at least two hours. Yeah. But so we've done an hour and fifteen. Let's do another ten or so. Just they'll be all right. You'll be all okay, right. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so going on. <laughs> Moving talk, on. Talk about it for fucking 10 minutes. <laughs> so I wanted to ask you, I think you're as big of a fan of Han and Chewie as I am. Is that right? I mean, yeah, I like, like Han and Chewie. I mean, they're my ex- favorites from the whole show, but yeah. Um, do you, now my, my, my take on the solo movie is that it can either. Did you see the. Previous for that? Yep. Okay. okay. It can I'm either. Excited. It's I am too. what? Super end excited. of May, right? Yep. May 25th. I'm going the first night. Mm-hmm. I might take my kids. I haven't decided. Yeah. Um, they probably don't want to go with but them anyways. They love. We love getting movies together, seeing movies. Um, but my take on it is this could be the one that finally makes me. That will make me be a star. No matter what kind of shit the Star Wars becomes, I'll watch every movie because of this one. Because I lo- it loved it so much and it fleshed out something I want to see so bad is that relationship with Chewie and Han. Yeah. Yeah, I hope they really focus on that, which I heard that they do quite a bit. But anyway, um, or or it's the one where I just went, never I'm out. again. I'm yeah. out. I'm done with Star Wars. Fuck you. Mm-hmm. And I had a, a, a better uh, opinion of the last couple of Star Wars movies than others have had that we've had on the show who don't, I mean, technically know how to watch a movie the right way, but that's fine. Um. <laughs> <laughs> like with your eyes like yeah with well, your eyes and then you use just, your brain just an opinion and <laughs> no i know how to watch a movie that's all i'm saying don't get don't get upset yeah i like ernest goes to camp too so it's cool <laughs> it's cool um so what do you think i mean do you have that kind of a view or is it's probably less dramatic for you than it will be for me uh my opinion is that it doesn't matter because you're already in or, no, here here's my theory on this, the whole Star Wars thing because this is a thing. Every time there's a new Star Wars movie, all of us people our age like just you know, there's teeth gnashing and hair pulling and everybody like some half of us love it, half of us hate it, and it's a big debate and whatever. And I think we have to remember that we are not eight years old anymore. You know what I mean? Like yeah. those movies were awesome, but also we were little kids. So like I think think assuming that this series is going to still be able to connect with us when we're not little kids anymore oh. every single time right is unrealistic like sometimes they're just going to have to make a movie that appeals to cuz those movies I think I mean everyone they were huge movies obviously like groundbreaking movies but like they were also kind of for little kids, right? Like right. Ewoks and shit. Or at least something like mid, you know, like teenagers, kids, and right, young adults. Right, in their right. 20s, they weren't early, like early twenties. So, right? so it, yeah. yeah. I think I don't know. I mean, I love Star good. Wars. I that was my favorite shit. Just like everyone else. That's why I my it up. Yeah, I, I fucking <laughs> I love remember. it. Um, hated the prequels, obviously. Um, and then there are some okay. <laughs> that we're watching now that are like good and then others that i right. just think are terrible did you but what about um oh, go on sorry go on no it's just that i just don't know it's it's going to be hit or miss every time for me because i'm not, not a, a little kid, kid anymore right. and i can so i can think things through like an adult so if you think about it then you might i might be well served actually to think about it as if i was a kid watching it like mm. is it good because of that yeah or maybe you know it's anybody any of us might like okay, if I was a kid, would I have loved that? Oh hell yeah, yeah. Or right. no, I would have been bored. But see, here's an example, like, which of I think what is I'm what people about. would say about eight. In uh, the last one that I saw, and I can't, I don't remember what they're ever called, but the last one that where um, this is the last Jedi. Yeah, the last okay. Jedi. So Luke, there's the, this moment, um, the the moment that bugged me the most in that movie was when uh, 
they're trying to kill Luke. They're shooting a bunch of shit at him or whatever. And then the smoke yeah, clears. Yeah, okay, cool. And Thanks. he and he does the thing where he like brushes off his shoulders. Oh. And I'm like, that is the least Luke Skywalker thing to ever happen, right? Yeah. But I'm thinking that with an adult brain. If I was a kid, I'd probably be like, yeah, fuck yeah, Luke Skywalker's the boss. <laughs> you know, it, it's different brains. When I, I'm an adult, I'm like, that is bullshit. That's did, not what his character know, would have done. Yeah. But yeah. like as a kid, I would have been like, that's they. fucking cool. He's a yeah. cool dude. He's a cool motherfucker. But this is because they're like changing shit up a little bit on Like us. the sidestep was really cool. But What's then, the side stuff? well, when he, you know, you know, switches around when uh, he tries to hack him down, you know, outside of the the big bunker, right? right. I'm talking, talking about, about yeah, he's right ta- before. He, I'm talking about when he's standing. Yeah, you're talking about two different things. Yeah, he's standing in front of the thing, and they're just and they just shoot a bunch of shit at him. I can't remember what what's going. On. Yeah, that's after oh yeah, the, no, no, you're right. before the sidestep. Yeah, yeah. He's talking about the confrontation with Kylo Ren. Yeah. yeah. You're talking about that was an awesome scene. Yeah, yeah, that powerful. was a really awesome scene. Yeah. I but thought... like that shit when they mess with characters that I've grown up with that I love, and I'm like, that's not consistent with what I know that character to be. That's what bugs me with Star Wars. Mm-hmm. And it's but that's a that's an adult take because an eight year old would be like, whatever, it was super fun. I loved yeah, it. I didn't Yoda even was see flipping it. around. Cool. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, that's that's how how it's weird for me to watch Star Wars now. Yeah, because I th- I think and about you didn't it like, like the Yoda adult. flipping around scene. Well, I did in I did in, in that movie because it, it, that was uh, it was uh, younger uh, Yoda, right? That's true. Yeah, okay. that makes sense. Yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, except I, what I didn't like about that was that it's CGI. I didn't want Yoda yeah. to be CGI. I liked I liked Yoda. Yeah, to well, be... they brought the real puppet back in the Last Jedi, so thank God for that. Right, right. That was a good scene. I thought there were a lot of great scenes in the last couple movies. Fair. And then there were a few that were disappointing in that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I get, I think that's. But I will never not go. You know, right. like that's the thing. I okay. will never not go right. to them. It just depends on how many times I go. Yeah. If I liked it or not. Yeah. Like we'll be going to those when we're 60. Yeah. You know, and I'll have time. an opinion. I'll have a different opinion when 60. I'm 60 than I do 60 now. inches. Around. Uh, think about it. That's a big penis, you guys. <laughs> That's a bit of an exaggeration. That would be a large. I'd probably be on phallus. some type of television show by now if that was the case, right? Yeah, yeah. Ripley's Believe It or Not. Like if I just had, they a... would call this series Engorged and Dumb. It would just be like the bottom of a beer keg. <laughs> yeah, that's unrealistic. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm trying to keep it as realistic as possible on the no. show. All th- we probably lost all three of them. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not happy that there was only three because we've had i mean <laughs> our friends oh six mm. up to six motherfuckers that's because people got done doing yard work that's kind of what i'm thinking is not the best time on a saturday but maybe tomorrow that's why you guys join huh well we're gonna have you know if for the other people that haven't seen it yet we were uh endorsing rap snacks uh romeo miller endorsed rap snacks these are called barbecuing with my honey get some Turn around and snap back. Open up a bag of wrap snacks. See how the last three, like they did Star Wars: The Force Awakens, and then the next one was the Last Jedi, and then between they did they did Rogue Rogue One. Did my favorite? My favorite one was Rogue One out of the three. I mean, it was absolutely phenomenal. It was cool. Yeah, Yeah. and I think it's that's one of the things people can escape because that was really a side (laughs) story. Like Han, or like Han Solo is going to be about. Like two very main characters to the whole thing, but Rogue One was kind of this really. It was very side. Yeah. I hope they do more of that. I like Me the too. side story. Well, when they do, the then new... you're able to escape from the correct. Ryan the... Johnson is signed on to do another the lore, three, the... right? Three trilogy deal after this. Yeah, he's doing done. ten, eleven, and, 12. and this is going to be not even about the Skywalkers at all whatsoever. Mm, so maybe. I mean, it's good to do the side stories because then you avoid that problem of like the one that ha- the problem about. that happened with me, of where mm-hmm. I'm like I have preconceived notions about this character. They get you. They yeah. they have an opportunity to give you a different. I, character. I told Adam this about Solo. He doesn't. He's not going to be Harrison Ford. That's the thing. Yeah. No, no you don't. don't have to, expect, I realize that. Don't expect I'm that. Not. As long as the story's good and he delivers a few lines that kind of connect them to Yeah, I'm, Solo, I'm not worried about that. Like, I don't care if he's... He's not going to be fucking... Harrison I'm Ford. honestly... No. Chewie's my all-time favorite character. So I just... If Chewie can be in, like, half of the movie, I might leave crying. Like, 
He's gonna be. I got all of my Chewie. He's gonna be a major part. That's because of course. It's about Han finding him. Thanks, in the, Captain. In the spice mines, being as a slave and freeing him from the from the spice mines. That's a yeah. pretty big part of the story. Yeah. yeah. So, well, do they show him freeing him from the spice mines? No, but they show the spice mines in the in the trailers. Is that the one where the train's coming from? No, that's like an ice planet. Okay. Spice mines is like a fucking dirty, dusty Denver. Did you hear they're remaking Dune? That'd be sweet. I love that. I still love that movie, but it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, so, oh my God, there was a couple things. Oh, so we're on the first leg of our double sweet weekend. What's that? Mean? And it just means we have, we're having a podcast today, a live one. Yeah. And then I have a busy we're weekend. We're going to release your I work at night too. podcast. This, this podcast, we're mm-hmm. going to release it to probably Monday, right? Or Tuesday. This one will be Monday, Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. And yeah. then what we're doing is tomorrow we are doing another live show with, uh, our friends, Addison and Brooks, right? Mm-hmm. And it sounds like a band. They're they well. It's funny that they're in a band, called oh, Fire, but they're called not Firefight. country. Yeah, and they're doing a show at the, like Firefight and Aeon and anyway, they're at the caboose band. at the caboose cool. coming up in a few weeks. And so uh, we've wanted to have them on for a while, so we're um, going to have them on tomorrow, and then we're going to release theirs the week after because we won't be doing right. a podcast next weekend. So uh, that's why it's double sneaky. sweet. Two for one this weekend. That's let's uh, let's shit. plug him. Let's give him some plugs before we sign off here again. Yeah. So, um, you can go to the Lack of Arts. Hey, that you got it. Thank you. I hope that was even close. Is that com? The yes. Arts dot com. Dot com. Yes, it is. Go there. You can see the. It's it's actually. I just na- I was navigating through it. It's super. I simple. will be catching one of those. One of the two that the one. What was it? Can, Oh, we got it right can here. Can you go back? Let's do that. Yeah, let's talk about it. Uh, yeah. Constellations or, and oh or God, Peter so. and the Starcatcher. See, I can see myself yeah, those getting are into all of these. Or so. if not both. Then, um, but yes, they, they, they are on downtime in the summer, right? You should check out that, the one about the lost testicle. You uh, guys. What? <laughs> Ball, a musical tribute to my lost testicle. So this is part of the, the Leco Arts oh, that's yeah, Friends so, of Friends series. That's so the beginning we, of next year. Yeah, we produce yeah. the top four, uh-huh. and then the bottom four, it's called the Friends of Friends series, where we bring three things from the cities that we really liked down. Um, so that's those are other companies. Improv, things. beautiful. Yeah. Actually, the Herald one is really cool, too. That one is uh, about a scarecrow that comes to life. It's like a, it's a horror play, basically. It premiered at the, hor- uh, the Twin awesome. Cities Horror Festival. Do you guys know about the Twin Cities Horror Festival? No. no. Plug you it. should, yeah. Twin Cities Horror Festival is a is a festival that happens every October. Makes um, sense at the at the Southern Theater in the Seven Corners area, okay. right yep. across from Mixed Blood or over there. Um, and all of the plays that happen in the horror festival, you know, pertain to horror or being scary or whatever. Right. It's a pretty cool festival. It's either scare or gore, right? Scare or gore yeah, that's or cool. something. I wasn't that, aware of that at all. That sounds awesome. It's really a cool festival. Sometimes you'll see some stuff there that's just really I know fun. my buddy Cody and his uh, fiance, would love, I bet I could get that. Yeah, check thing. it out. But that's It'd where Harold awesome. came from, and Harold is, is I really, really like ball. <laughs> just, I really yeah. like this one. Ball, a musical tribute to my lost testicle, <laughs> written and performed by Max Watanowitz. 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 Yep. It's a good show. I want to see if I can. Some good stuff next year. Um, I was really pumped to see Bobby Gardner in action. Yeah, he's fun. he's a funny dude. And to see that you're working with Tom Carkey. You know Tom? I have met him twice. One time was a very short amount of time. Another with, time was at your college. You guys went to Mankato we, together, We right? did not, no. Tom I met after college. Yeah. But didn't you share an apartment with Tom and Mankato? No. Nope. Is Amanda Tom your wife? Tom went to school in Duluth. Yeah. Okay. So am I thinking of Bobby? Did you guys share an apartment? Yes. Bob Duluth? and I live together. Okay. Yep. Yep. I Maybe I just know Karki through like all of the posts. and all Probably. Of the I yeah. Think, yeah. He's pr- no, he's... I remember his face and everything. Pro- I maybe met him. you met him somewhere met him down in New Prague or something. And the difference of both of them for sure. Yeah. And yeah. I definitely met Karki. It was not a Mankato then. I'm wrong, but whatever. The point is. It's cool to see you working with those guys. I mean, they've yeah, been with awesome. you for a long time. Yes. Yeah. They're awesome. It's it's really good to have those people that you're working with on a consistent basis because it helps. They can kind of probably tell, too, if something's not going right, they'll be able to, like, help you out. Like, oh, geez, he's not loving this. Let's yeah. Try something yeah, new. for sure. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, uh, so, so I want to send a shout out there. It's been a pleasure to have you on the show. 
Thanks for inviting me, you guys. Um, there you. are season tickets available, and just yes, yeah, so you single can do show a, tickets. You can do a season package for sixty bucks, right? That's dirt Super cheap. Five Super plays reasonable. for sixty bucks. Yeah, absolutely. Proud to have it going on in my old neck, huh. of, my old stomping grounds, and Thanks, glad man. to have you on. Yeah, Thanks. I'll definitely come out and see a show. Thanks, we'd love yes. to have you. Right, and man. I think with that, we out. Yeah, buddy. That was good. The last, it's always that way. The last half was yeah. like the best part. You that was I mean? awesome. Yeah. It was fun. <laughs> it's always like that. <laughs> People tell us, uh, one of our friends listens to almost everyone and he's like, God, it's like, I should just fast forward for, through the first hour. And <laughs> he's like, I hate like, the first hour. I'm not trying to insult you, but I should just fast forward to the first hour because that's after a while really to warm get up. Into the yeah, meat. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs>